throws the ball out to his brother Dewan. The separation from the receiver on the defender was, was what allowed that play to continue. Good job here. It's the play action pass. They set it up well. Tosses it outside. Watch a little separation move there. Come back for the football. Sean Woods did that time and time again here. All American and a first run NFL pick. Brother of these two players. And yeah, the right hand on the hill as it's coming in works wonders. Exactly right. <laughs> first down after the 29 yard pass play. Toss. It's the two freshman Elliott. Down the side, down and out of bounds, but I believe he's got enough. Yes. It looks like he's got the first down by about a yard. Forced out by Buell. You see the speed of Prentice Elliott, the freshman. We talked about him. Excellent play here in the reverse, trying to get something happening here in the positive side of the field. You see the flow of the defense and the offense, and pitch it back there to Prentice. And take a look at the right side of the screen. Number 11 going to fly through there. Byron Jones, he's the one that all that didn't allow Prentice Elliott to make it. Take a look at this the player who's going to come around and break all the way through on the defense to slow this play down. Just going to, hey, cover the guy that you think is going to get the football. It's man coverage. Good job here by the defense of not allowing the play. First down, just inside the 40-yard line. Single is Morenzi, straight up the gut. And he loses it on his way down as it pops into the arms of Justin Warren. Do they give it to Warren? Yes, a and gets it back. It almost looked like he was down already. Well, ball security is key for both these teams. Running the football, throwing the football, less miles, preaches to his football team. Hey, we've got to control the ball. We cannot make mistakes running the ball. Hey, when one pops out in the middle, the defense has to react. Take a look at it here. We'll see if it comes out. There's Morenz. He's in the air. The ball was hit. It knocked down. Looked like big number 95 on the defensive side. Mike Montgomery caused that fumble coming back from the backside. And big play here for AM. Well, that's the first lost fumble of the season for the team that is number one in the nation in turnover margin. McNeil underneath and it's dropped. Try to run with it before he had it. Urban Taylor, who's already got a grab, the sophomore from Mission, Texas. Well, the ball's thrown excellently. Good job throwing the ball. He should catch that ball. He's just trying to run with it, like you said, Joel, before he gets it in his hands. Hey, they're spreading the defense of Oklahoma State out. They're trying to get matchups, and that's exactly what's happening here with this offense. Five and a half to play in the first 15. Number 23 against number 16 in the nation. McNeil stretching it. So again, a yard or two for Reggie McNeil as we welcome more of you joining us in our Rocky Mountain region. As Paul Duran, who had a couple of interceptions and returned one 34 yards for a score last week at Colorado. In on that here, it'll be third and eight. Joel Myers, Gary Reasons, Jim Knox, Big 12 country. What a matchup. To me, the game of the weekend in the Big 12. It really is. Both these teams want to continue to be undefeated in Big 12 play. Now, this is a key third down in this football game, Joel. You want to capitalize off the of turnovers of the defense here for Oklahoma State. They want to respond and get their offense back on the field. Now, how about five wide receivers with three up top on the wide side of the field? McNeil with the defense spread out. Incomplete. It was a low throw. He's trying to sell it Urban Taylor. It won't work though. It would have been enough for a first down. It'll go back and it'll be a punting situation. Well, they sold that in coverage that time on the defensive side. Only tried to rush three here to get in the face of Reggie McNeil. Reggie McNeil steps up in the pocket and throws a strike, but he throws it low. Take a look at the throw. Is it down there? Urban Taylor, does he catch the football? It hits sure. the ground. Yeah, I'm not sure we can see it from that out here. We'll probably be a good look at it here as the ball comes down. It's hitting the ground right there. I think it's a good call by the officials and brings up a fourth down a funny situation. Going back with the Jacob Young punt. It is going to be Prentice Elliott. Pressure cuts. Gets away a beauty. Elliott. Momentum going back. Spot and drop. What a play downfield for Texas A&M with a flag on the play. Byron Jones down there. We talked about him earlier. Out there, the cornerback, and he comes up again and makes a play. He's a senior from Bay City, Texas. That was a 50-yard punt. Byron Jones, a senior, is a leader out there, and he's got speed. So early mistakes from Oklahoma State. Illegal block in the back. 
number 11 on the receiving team. Half the distance to go. First down. So the market off against Oklahoma State on the return. And when we come back, the Cowboys down by seven, deep in their own territory. It's more than the coaches. More than the fame. More than the players. Big 12 Conference, more than the game. This is the Sports List, the show that counts down anything and everything in the world of sports. The Sports List, weeknights on FSA. Tune into Fox Sports for the best sports coverage around. Then, let the new FoxSports.com on MSN take you beyond the field. Log on today for up-to-the-minute headlines, real-time scores on every page, hot sports opinions from your favorite Fox Sports personalities, tons of free video, cool interactive features, play fantasy games, and get everything you need to win with expert analysis from the sporting news. Experience a new world of sports. FoxSports.com on MSN. Uh-huh. Well, I'm sure she didn't mean it. Man, that's tough. Jared, look, I have to run. There's this oil field on fire. Huge flames. Yeah, we have to get out there. Jared, I gotta go. Experience adventure so real, you'll feel like you're there. From storm shoes to smoke jumps. Work never looks so wild. Dangerous jobs. Wednesdays on the National Geographic Channel. Well, certainly that was the plan. The, uh, this team uh, uh, has some talent. Uh, we knew it coming in. Uh, we needed to get by uh, some early games and get some seasoning under our belts and uh, get better. And they have. And, and no, it's, uh, it, was, it was conceivable to me that we'd be five and off. And was he hooked up for a pontograph test at the time <laughs> we had that conversation? Because he loses Rashawn Woods, a thousand yard receiver. Josh Fields, a 3,000-yard thrower, and also a 1,000-yard rusher in Tatum Bell. Nobody, maybe except Les Miles, thought they'd be 5-0. Well, they lead the Big 12 in scoring fifth in the nation at 41 a game. Marenzi from deep in his own hole, a gain of about a yard and a half or two to the 13. It'll be second and long, and for our first time tonight, at least, Dr. Pepper game break. Let's check in now with Mike Goldberg. Mike. Joel, thank you very much. Number 10, Wisconsin, nation's number one defense against number five, Purdue, nation's number three offense. Some of the offense here for Anthony Davis and the Badgers. Only points of the first half scored by Davis. Kyle Lorton struggling in the first half. Intercepted once, sacked three times. They're just underway in the second. All right, Mike, thank you. So, Wisconsin tells you what they're going to do. We're going to pound you. Like Oklahoma State with Morenci again. Huge hole for Vernon. And he's got a first down out of a deep hole all the way across the 25. Let's face it, Gary. Morenci had that big day against UCLA in the opener. The quarterback throws eight, completes two. They're telling you what they're going to do. Now, do you have enough people to stop us? Well, you've got to, got to look at your offensive line and see how well they're playing. And Corey Hilliard, number 75, actually obliterates the hole inside here. Take a look at the kickout block here. Big Hilliard comes around, and bingo, right there. That's the block that Marinci needs. Look at the hole that he has. A couple of players could run through there. Good job of running down the field between the blocks. And Big Sam Mays and company. And Chris Aiken, David Kennedy, Corey Hilliard, all doing a great job up front. And Billy Badgema had his back that time, too. Marinci slowed down, loses it again. A&M's got it. Coming up with a football for the Aggies, it is Mike Montgomery the defensive end. Well, he caused a fumble in the first last series. Now he's recovered a fumble. Two miscues here for Oklahoma State early in this football game. Turnovers now for the Aggies. And it looks like it's forced by Archie McDaniel, the linebacker. Well, good push at the point of attack there by the defensive front. That's Johnny Jolly up front. He's already had a good ball game. 31 right there, pulled the ball out. Ball comes out, take a look at 31 as he go right to the football. Got all those defensive backs around the line of scrimmage, and when your tailback breaks through, grab what you can, he pulls the ball out, and Mike Montgomery pulls, jumps on top of him, and catches a and Just outside of the 20, big turnover. And 
it's Keith Joseph getting six straight up the gut. Huge hole there now to the 15-yard line. Brought down by Victor DeGreat, the sophomore to Soto. Got him early. Well, the first down line all brought to you by Overstock.com, your online outlet. It is all about the O at Overstock.com. Now it's going to be second, a little less than five. Need about four and a half. McNeil with five wide receivers setting up. Underneath it goes. And diving for the first down, he gets it. Wide receiver Terrence Thomas, the senior from Washington High School in Houston. So just about a first and goal situation, not quite and despair on the faces of the Cowboy fans on homecoming weekend. Well, that's good poise and good pocket presence by the quarterback, Reggie McNeil. He reads the defense, and he just throws it out there. Very accomplished to Terrence Thomas in the slot. Just throws a nice little strike here, and then after the catch, he needs to get a couple extra yards. He does so. He gets a first down. Well, did he get it? No. Got a bad spot. I agree with you. I thought he might have <laughs> had it. It was close to that 10-yard uh, that line, but... Take a look at what's happening here for Texas A&M. Very good in the red zone, 18 of 21. That's tremendous. Now Texas, excuse me, that Cowboys defense, only 50% of the opponents have scored on them down here. So this is a critical situation for both football teams. I like what they've done recently, though. After that first game, it all started to grow. And 12 out of the last 14 touchdowns, they did not have to settle for field goals. And if I was Reggie McNeil, wouldn't hand it off. Keep it myself, get under my center, the way you can run the football. Just go between center and guard and get a sneak. Let's be a little selfish, Joe. Get teammates. Get the big guys. I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Third and about six inches. Two and a half to play in the first quarter. He will hand it off. Joseph, will he go for the end zone? Almost. First and goal from the two. Lost it on his way down. Jimmy Thompson over there on the stop. But he was already down when he lost the football. Well, that's nice bread and butter. You got Lewis the speed, 6 even 195, and Joseph the power at 6 2, 250. He is at the power. He's a big back there. Take a look inside. Got a little quick block inside. Gets behind De La Garza, the left guard, who pulls on a quick little G block. Pulls outside. Can't tackle him with arm tackles. Keith Joseph, 260 pounder. So now first and goal. Just outside of the two from the pits. Joseph, really? Yes! Touchdown, a and How about that leg drive? So points off a turnover right away. Well, if you're Texas A&M and you come to Stillwater, Oklahoma, hey, you want to bring your A game, and that's what Texas A&M has right here early, converting on the second of two turnovers now. Keith Joseph, the big fullback slash tailback now getting a chance. And watch the leg drive. He's got two Cowboys got him held up, but he takes on, takes it on in the end zone. He loses the football right at the goal line. Looks like he's probably just across the plane there. A touchdown for Texas A&M. Beckman with the point after, so inside of two minutes to play in the first quarter. They are shocked here in Stillwater. Four play, 20-yard drive, and seven points off a turnover. So a quick points off a turnover, and how about four carries for 20 yards early in the ball game? Not for Cordy Lewis, but for Keith Joseph. <laughs> Newman kicks it away. He's going to be brought back by McLemore. McLemore with good yardage. 
all the way across the 25 and pays for it near the 30-yard line as we have another Dr. Pepper game break. The latest now with Mike Goldberg. Mike? Joel, no hangover for Nebraska after allowing 70 points last week at Baylor. Joe Daly becomes the first quarterback in Huskers history to throw for 300 yards. They score 59 points, give up 27, but they win the football game at home 59 to 27. Mike, after what happened at Texas Tech last week, when Nebraska lost at home this week against Baylor, they'd stop growing corn <laughs> in the state. They rebounded for sure. Unless Miles did get his offense on track, get that power running game going, give Vernon Moore and a chance to turn up some yardage here. Well, Seymour Shaw is going to give Vernon a chance to think about it. Shaw backpedaling his way as he's hit by Byron Jones. Across the 33 to the 34, give him four on first down. Now, if there's any question about the possible touchdown for Texas A&M, we took another look at it from the sideline, and sure enough here, Keith Joseph, you see the football, watch it there. He's going to stretch out and reach over the goal line. In college football, as soon as the football breaks the plane right there, it is a touchdown. Good call by the officials. Brings up second and six. He is going to check off. Changes the play. Oh, go! Had room. Man, this his brother who was available with a big cushion on that side of the field against Eric Mays, freshman from Humble. Well, you see uh, the quarterback Donovan Woods go ahead and checking off the line of scrimmage. He's seeing the defense. Carl Torbush challenges defense in week two, the game that we saw Jam against, uh, Joel against Wyoming. And they played exceptionally well. Donovan Woods seeing a poised defense back there. A lot of youth. Redshirt freshman now stepping up, playing for this football team. Big difference in the last four ball games, and they've, they're playing pretty well here against this number one rushing team. We have not seen Morenci in this series after two early fumbles. The first two fumbles lost this year. The play fake to Shaw, and he's hit as he releases it. Up in the air a long time, and their lucky wasn't picked off intended for Dewan Woods. Jackson of Bell, the free safety, just waited for that punt. Well, it looked like a punt, Joel. There's a wobbler up in the air. The quarterback has a lot of duress here. Coming from his left side, going to have a couple of players in his face. Play action fake to no one. Doesn't fool the defense. The pressure there in front of him. Donovan Woods throwing it as far as he can. Can't get it to his brother here, Dewan. Dewan's going to see Jackson Appel come into the picture right at the bottom here. He's the one that has the best chance to make the grab. And nobody comes down with it. Eric Mays waiting for the cold fired and punt. No pressure, although there is a flag down on the play. Fair catch called for it. Man, Mays has it with great field position. And then contact at the end is going to cost Oklahoma State. But let's find out about the first flag back to the original line. Well, Hal Dotton's been busy early. Stephen James was the one who made contact with Eric Mays. Well, they had a penalty back at the line of scrimmage. It's going to either be a formation penalty or defense was offsides. That music in the background. You can hear the AM band. They travel well, don't they? Yeah, they <laughs> all the way up here from College Station. We've got a little section down here in front of us. John Heike's here. I mean, they do travel. We have two fouls on the play. We have an LF formation. On the kicking team, that penalty is declined. We have kick catch interference on the kicking team. It'll be 15 yards from the end of the kick. First down. It's yeah. a double jeopardy. Yeah. Cost him 15. A couple of penalties here, Les Miles. A lot of penalties here. They're, what they're calling is there's not enough guys on the line of scrimmage. They're calling one of these defensive tackles too far back. Only five men on the line of scrimmage. And later on here at the end, after he kicked, see the receiver catch the football and then. The contact afterward, it's just a little love tap, but still, that's a penalty in college football, and the officials are going to protect that returner every chance they get. So now all the way to the midfield stripe. Short field. Les Miles has to really be concerned now the way and moving the football, and they don't have long to travel. First down, and they're in field goal territory. Lewis jamming over his way out of the backfield as he's dropped by the true freshman from Galveston, Walter Thomas. And Walter's a big load inside there, 340 pounder, big 6'5 kid. One of three, deep, three or four defensive tackles at Oklahoma State will play in the interior on their defense in this football game. 
Bill Clay, their defense coordinator, pleased with the depth so far from his OSU defensive front. And now it's going to be second and ten. The underdog Aggies leading by 14. Final minute of the quarter. And again, a couple of stutter steps cost him the indecision. As the hole closed, play side, tried to get it back, but couldn't go back to the other side. And that is going to be the final snap of a very strong start. It's Texas A&M had lost eight consecutive games on the road. Now they're looking for back-to-back -back road victories. Well, they're 25% of the way there with Courtney Lewis, number 25, trying to pick up necessary yardage when they come back on third down. They capitalize on an early turnover. The Aggies out of the Cowboys, 14 to nothing. What do you value? Do you value clean, inexhaustible solar energy? Do you value the comfort and safety of those you love? Do you value the innovations that make home life more livable, convenient, and enjoyable? Or maybe you value a simple way of reaching out to those you love. In so many things you value, Kyocera brings new value to your world. Kyocera, the new value frontier. So really, what's so fancy about our fancy ketchup? Well, for one, try that with a squeeze packet. What a burger! Just like you like it. A photo man, that's all I drive. I ain't got no boundaries, I don't compromise. And neither do Texans. That's why they've made Ford F-150 their number one choice 27 years running. You can't beat number one, brother. And you can't beat a new 2004 Ford F-150 Supercab. For $199 a month, that's $199 a month. Ford trucks are the best, hands down. To get your hands on a new F-150, head down today and find out why. Ford is the best in Texas. When customizing your Whataburger, just how far is too far? No idea. Try us. What a burger. Just like you like it. The greatest is about to leave his mark. It's the Poker Superstars Invitational. Tomorrow, only on FSN. Welcome back once again, homecoming weekend in Stillwater, Oklahoma, Joel Myers, Gary Reasons, Jim Knox, sold out as usual. That is the story now since Les Miles has taken over this program. Well, how long have they trailed this season? How about 6.09 out of a possible 300 minutes? So they've never trailed like this, at least at early and a second half, they've never trailed in the second half so far this season. They haven't been in a comeback mode. They've been running the football, doing a great job of staying on top, and haven't had to make their quarterback bring them back in football games. It's a huge third down on the first snap of the second quarter. Drive stays alive, and you have to think there's going to be points, and there's movement, a false start already. The interior of the offensive line of Texas A&M. Umpire was quick. Part of the snap. Snap infraction, 51 on the offense. Five yard penalty, still third down. Well, a young man that was first team all state at Kingswood High School in Houston, Chris Yoder. Well, the AM offensive line is somewhat revamped now. Chris Yoder, the center you mentioned, and Kirk Elder, the right guard. A couple of redshirt freshmen. I think they're a big reason for the success of this Texas AM offensive line. Take a look on the right side of your screen here. That's number, that's Kirk Elder right there, his left arm. Kind of moves it a little bit, and Richard Brown, the umpire, throws the flag. Play fake to McNeil on third and long. Throwing for it, he's got it. And a first down going to the tight end, Joey Thomas. The redshirt freshman out of Austin's Westlake High School. Same high school as Chris Mim of the NBA, Drew Brees, Purdue. What a high school that's been out of Austin. Whenever you can throw to a tight end, it helps your offense here. Joey Thomas, 6'5", 240 pounds, a pretty good target. On the move here, Ray Jimmy Neal throws one down and away. Good catch that time by Thomas going down for it. A first down outside of the 36 and a gain of 15. And that's kind of the tone right now for Oklahoma State. But look on that young man. McNeil, the reverse. Well, nice move by Murphy. Now how much can he make out of it? Boy, try to catch him. 
He got eight when it looked like he was going to lose eight. He takes it down to the 28-yard line. Well, Nathan Peterson, the defensive end, the freshman we talked about, the true freshman for the Oklahoma State Cowboys, the left defensive end, has a chance to make Murphy, who's going to come around here and get him, but just kind of slows him down enough. But I think that allows the Cowboy defense to react. Take a look at Peterson there missing the tackle. But here come all the orange shirts. A little bit of contact there, but still a decent play for Texas A&M. Now it's going to be second and short. Slide the wide receiver in motion on the shovel pitch. Huge hole inside. Jason Carter, first and goal. Well, they take, they bunched Carter over there. He just gets lost, doesn't he, Gary? Well, he's and at, then the shovel is perfect. He's that dimension of this football team. He's one of those players on this team that averages over 70 all-purpose yards on the ground or through the air. Anytime you have somebody like this young man, you want to get in the football. Jason Carter, just a little shovel pass in front with blockers in front. He's got speed. He does things in the wide as a wide receiver. He does things in the kick return game. They want to put the ball in Jason Carter's hands and make big plays for this football team. Disbelief now. The sold out crowd in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Empty the backfield for McNeil. Well, they caught his own number. No, a little slip screen to the wide receiver. Carter breaks a tackle. He's got a seven and goal all the way to the three, and it wasn't. It was Latidrick Wiley. Latidrick Wiley, the junior from Crockett, Texas, instead, 17-9-7. Well, with your 218 pounds, Joel, you can do that. You make people who go around your lower body trying to make tackles with one arm down. They're not going to be able to do it. You see his numbers on the season. Latidrick Wiley, a big target here for Reggie McNeil. Nice, easy throw to the slot receiver inside, and then he just makes yak yards. Yards after contact. Good job that time by Riley in Texas A&M. Went right through that angle tackle. At least the attempt by John Hunter. Second and goal. Reggie McNeil calls his own number. Does he get the seal over to the far side? Won't get that. He's not about a yard shy of a first down. Robert Jones in on that stop with Jamie Thompson. Well, full house here. Just go ahead and take it around the corner. Let your quarterback do something with the football. Good job by the Oklahoma State defense. Not, let, not allowing the Texas A&M offense to win the corner. They had the point of attack. They made Reggie McNeil go east and west and not allow him to go north and south and forced him out of bounds. Dominating start with 142 yards of offense on 20 snaps so far and a timeout on the field as it's going to be, and I said goal, well, it's going to be. They need about two yards for a first down. They can still get a first down inside the one when we come back to Stillwater, Oklahoma. There's only one name that boasts the brute strength of 600 foot-pounds of class-dominating torque. One brand, the fastest production pickup on Earth with a 500-horsepower engine. One truck with the legendary Hemi that outhauls, outtows, and outperforms the competition. Dodge Ram, the one truck with the speed, strength, and power to put all the other trucks in their place. During Truck Month, get 0% financing plus October bonus cash on 04 Ram 1500 for savings up to $8,400. Fifth Gear, incredible experiments, unreal discoveries. It's almost scary. Testing the limits of performance. Do you not panic? Fifth Gear cracks the car show mold wide open. From the super exotic to the super destructive. Urban assault vehicle. Fifth Gear boldly goes where others don't dare. Cool. Get into Fifth Gear, Monday nights, exclusively on Speed Channel. Five out of five doctors recommend helmets for their patients with heads. Unless you are without a head, always wear a helmet. Some people don't have heads. Headless wonders. Very rare and not very popular with the ladies. Talk to your head doctor about a helmet today. You're watching FSN Southwest. But that really mean nothing. As long as we winning, I mean, I'm fine with it. I can rush for negative 50 yards and throw for 30, and we win, I'll be happy. So, I mean, the, the win, the win loss column, that's the biggest stat to us. Everyone should have the same attitude as Reggie McNeil. You got to love that young man. Now he needs a couple for first down. He'll keep it, and he'll get six. Deception, and it looked like the same play they ran earlier, where McNeil scored on the opposite side, going right instead of left. 
This time he has some options here. He can counter, take it inside. He pulls it away. He also has a pitch back coming around the outside, but Reggie McNeil didn't need to pitch that ball at all. They had won the corner for him. Very easy score here for Texas A&M. So Texas A&M just pounding Oklahoma State early. Pegram in for another point after. No one could have suspected this. And he slips as he hits it. Byron Jones, the recipient, but making the stop for Texas A&M, and that was a fortunate one. Chad Schrader, the holder. So a slip by Pegram cost him a point, but still, Texas A&M leads by 20. Big Breakfast Burritos. Sonic's got them, others don't. Stop by Sonic today and bring your appetite. Because we're serving up our new big steak, egg, and cheese burrito. Steak, fluffy eggs, melted cheese, tater tots, and diced onions. All rolled up in a warm flour tortilla and made fresh when you order it. It's just one of the unique and delicious items you'll find on Sonic's all-day breakfast menu. The new steak, egg, and cheese burrito. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. Saturday on FSN, presented by Kia Sarah, the new value frontier. Also by Dr. Pepper. BU, nothing's better, it's Dr. Pepper. By Mortal Kombat, it will consume you. Mortal Kombat Deception, now online. And the first down line, all brought to you by Overstock.com. Visit Overstock.com today, start saving. It is all about the O at Overstock.com. Joel Myers, Gary Reason, Jim Knox back in a shock. Absolutely